tuning of things, okay? Feeling how one thing affects the other, affects the other. Using the ability to observe. When you observe something, you're activating its particles, okay? When you look at something, you start to literally bring in its energy field to you. Okay? See the build up? Now, there's always ways to extract more. Okay? There's always ways to increase your access. ways to accelerate particles, okay? Several different ways. Here, I'm just picking the waveform straight up. Okay? Harmonizing. Tugging directly into the grids. Okay, many of you, you don't necessarily have to see the grids, you just have to know that they're there. Okay, and then you can just start to ping on them. Now, typically, how I start to see it, or how I used to see grids, okay, the way I used to see things, is I would look at either leaves or plants or whatever, stuff that was coming up from the ground, and I could literally see how that they were growing that these spirals and all the movements were actually moving in grid formation. They weren't necessarily reaching towards the sun, they're reaching towards each grid point which feeds them the most, okay? So, I can reach into the grid points and then start to juice them up, amplify the grid points. There are several different ways of doing that too. Uh, one of the things that I like to do is actually like play uh, the grid points just like a piano or a guitar, start plucking it, okay? By doing so, I'm causing these taps and these waves to go through the system. See them? The waves, the more I hit them, the more they amplify. Then I grab and then just push that energy. outward at that point, okay? Using circular motion. These are the natural uh, ways that the universe moves. So, using its natural flow, you can pull in quite a bit. with. 
okay. So you should have noticed as soon as I took energy off what I was doing, the field went down. Very important to notice, okay? Uh, got more than enough videos uh, of doing that very thing, all right? And I think it's important that people really look into it, especially if you are an energy user, an energy manipulator, you gotta know how to be able to turn on and off your own signature at will, because that's what this is. This is me controlling my own signature, I'm not controlling this stuff. I have no illusion that I am controlling this stuff. I'm controlling me and how my energy signature interacts with everything else. Self-mastery is about self-control. It's not control over the elements. The elements are harmonizing with you, working in conjunction with you, okay? And by the way, elements are really just an illusion anyway because this is a digital system. You saw me playing with the, uh, the grids here a second ago, okay, look. I can see them, I know what they're gonna do, all right? So elements in themselves, that's a, a complete and total illusion. The idea that you're in a quote unquote universe is complete and utter illusion. And I can tell you that I'm very confident in saying that because otherwise everything that I'm doing right now is not possible. There's an energy system. Everything is composed of energy system. Okay? Energy is digital by nature. Truly. And so given the fact that energy is digital by nature, then it must have a code behind it. So you have to think of in terms of what could that code be. If it's ones and zeros, and you're able to actually see and interact with those ones and zeros, then the ones and zeros can be interacted with and operated at will, right? It's just a computer. Just like tapping on your keyboard. Do a little I love you and hit send because that's all this is, okay? See me? Interacting with all of this, and I was barely moving anything until I chose to actually move something. See that? So I'm showing you that I was touching it, interacting with it and everything else, but there was no movement until I wanted the movement. So it's very important that you have control over your own personal system. It's self-control. It's not control over the elements. The elements will just react with you because you are in the universal flow. Okay, and so at that given point, it doesn't mind if you think for it a little bit. Okay? So if you are at one and in harmony with yourself, the system knows and recognizes it. Okay? You're programming your system around you. This is all about using your creative influence. So that's what I'm doing. Is I take my mind and then I apply my mind and my spirit and my body and then I animate myself, which helps to animate the surroundings around me. It's a flow, it's a waveform, thought form. And all I'm doing is I'm acting as an individualized node or the illusion of an individualized node that starts to think, starts to enact its will, okay? And then you can take these uh, very ideas right then and there and apply it to so much. And that's what the new book is about. The new book is called Engineering Reality, okay? And it talks about being able to take your energetic abilities and then being able to serve yourself as a creator now when I say serve yourself that means self master by learning how to operate one's own internal system you serve as a benefactor to the greater whole okay you're evolving the mind 
and the spirit, the general spirit of the entire universe. You. Okay? So, and then by enacting and then bringing this knowledge to other people, okay, we start to get stronger, we start to get smarter, and we evolve quicker. So, when I say serve yourself, I'm not talking about being self-serving. Don't go out sowing your wild oats, spending tons of money, sleeping with tons of people. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about knowledge. Knowledge of oneself. Okay? And by doing so, and getting in touch with oneself, you can take all of this ability here and start to create a world of your choosing. I choose peace and love. Okay? And then I also choose to be able to live semi-comfortably. Okay? I don't need to be rich, a millionaire, but I do need to be taken care of so I can continue to teach and bring this knowledge out. So anyway, the book's called Engineering Reality. It's $20, okay? And you can go to paypal.com and go to mgrubjr777 at yahoo.com. Okay? So first you go to, uh, to PayPal. It's $20. And then you use mgrubjr777 at yahoo.com. And then that's how you pay for the book. Make sure I have an email and a way to send you the book. It's going to be done here shortly. And it's going to have 17 videos with it. So I would highly suggest getting it if you want to learn how to take your ability, your energetic ability, and apply it to your direct surroundings and to that of which is your life. You can learn how to create a brand new life. Okay? You're not at the mercy of anyone. This is just as much your game as it is anybody else's, okay? The more people that we wake up and the more people that we help, the quicker this place evolves and the quicker we take up space from what we would consider to be the negative brothers, the negative side of the force. Pretty soon, if we consistently keep waking up, our soul mass gets bigger, our ability to connect gets stronger, okay? And then we create what we want. Start to decide who wants peace. It will become so. We decide we want love. It will become so. We decide we want truth. It will become so. Pretty soon you just start taking up space between the grids and through the grids and everything else until that's the only thing that the code is reading. It's the only thing that the code is showing. So again, name of the book, Engineering Reality. And I want you to notice that every time I bring that book up, that sun comes out. Eternal love to all.